Hi, I'm Felipe, and today we're here at Beeson Elementary in Dodge City, Kansas. Beeson's mascot is the Bulldogs, and this is where the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year, Suzanne Stevenson, teaches fourth grade. And spoiler alert, she was my teacher in fourth grade. Since you're a kid like me, you might think you already know what it means to be a teacher, but there's way more to the job than what you might think. So, let's go ahead and find out what it takes to be a great teacher like Miss Stevenson. Follow me. It's really cool to be back in my old school with one of my favorite teachers ever, Miss Stevenson. Hi Felipe, it's so great to see you again. You've gotten so much taller since the last time I saw you. Okay, okay, enough about me. Can you please tell us about why you love being a teacher? Absolutely. Well, every other job is really only possible because of teachers. We educate the future carpenters and lawyers and chefs and truck drivers of the world. So it's really magical to be able to teach them all the skills that they're gonna need in their future jobs. I bet the kids watching this at home probably think that they know everything about what a teacher does, but I have a feeling there's a lot more to your job than what kids see. Absolutely. Of course we spend time working directly with students, teaching them all the different skills that they need to know, but that's really the final step in the process. Teachers do a lot of work ahead of time, planning and getting things ready. I've actually got a list of things here that teachers do to get ready. Teachers also do a lot of things you might not realize, like helping students learn to regulate their behaviors, figuring out how to help students with special needs learn in the best way for them. We also provide emotional support to students when they need a little bit of extra care and attention. We advise new teachers who are just starting in their careers, but most importantly, teachers are constantly learning every day about how to be a better teacher. Wow, that is a lot. You always made teaching look fun and easy when I was in your class, but it's definitely a lot of work. Well, thanks, and you're right. It definitely is a lot of work. I have a few ideas of how you can help me be a teacher today. Would you like to try? Sure. Um, we're starting geometry. Say the word geometry, please. Geometry. One more time, say geometry. Geometry. Good. Felipe is going to help us out. I got to help Ms. Stevenson teach a math activity. We introduced the class to geometry vocabulary. I helped demonstrate how to match the words with the definitions and the pictures on the document camera. Then I got to go around the class and answer the students' questions. This box right here, it means that it's 90 degrees. So that's the difference between more than 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and less than 90 degrees. Well, what did you think? It was fun, but a lot more difficult than it looks. How did you learn how to become a teacher? Well, I grew up in Ottawa, Kansas, and it was actually my senior year of high school when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. Looking back, I always loved being around kids. I babysat, and I even worked in a preschool, so it just made total sense. After high school, I went to Emporia State University and got my Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. My senior year at Emporia State, I was actually able to student teach at two Emporia Public Schools. From there, I interviewed with Dodge City Public Schools and got a job as a fourth grade teacher out here, and I've loved it ever since. If I wanted to become a teacher, how could I get ready? Well, there are lots of things that you can do. First, you can volunteer in your community, maybe at your church, or even babysit. Just really spending time with kids is the most important thing. Okay, I can do that. What about in school? What kinds of classes should I take? Well, elementary teachers teach all subjects. We teach math and science, language arts, and social studies. So it's important to do well in all classes. But if there's a subject you love, then do really well in that one. Another skill that would be helpful is knowing more than one language. For example, in Dodge City, most people speak English and Spanish. Unfortunately, I only speak one language, but I do empower my students to bring not only their language, but their culture into our classroom. Yeah, I thought it was really great when you did that. Thanks, let's move on. What's the hardest part about being a teacher? Well, I love my profession and what I do, and I would spend so many hours perfecting my craft if I could. But it's really critical that teachers balance their love for the profession and helping students with their own personal lives. We're just like everybody else. We have hobbies and things that we love to do outside of school. So it's really important that we balance those two things. But at least you get summers off, right? Well, that's kind of a misconception. Teachers take a whole year's worth of work and shove it into nine months. So we actually spend the summers going to professional conferences, learning how to be a better teacher, and planning for the following year. Okay, that makes sense. I'm sure you're just as ready as kids are for school to be out in May. <laughs> I've just got one more question for you. Sure, what's up? What was it like to be the Kansas Teacher of the Year? Oh my gosh, it was such an honor to be the Kansas Teacher of the Year. I got to travel all across the state and visit schools and colleges and share my love of teaching with everyone, but also learn from them at the same time. You know, I was really lucky here at Beeson that I got a co-teacher, Miss Hernandez, that when I had to travel, 
she could stay here and keep consistency for my students. You know, they even have a map of where I traveled to so they could follow me on my adventures. Another really cool thing about being Teacher of the Year, I got to attend a ceremony at the White House with all the other State Teachers of the Year from across the country. Oh wow, you got to go to the White House? That is cool. Do you think you'll be an elementary teacher forever? Well, while I love teaching elementary, I don't think I'll stay here forever. I love teaching so much and I want other people to love it just as much as I do. So one day I hope to be a college professor. That way I can teach college students how to be teachers and share my love of education that way. Maybe I'll be your student again in college. Maybe so. Thank you, Ms. Stevenson, for sharing your love of learning with us and inspiring all of us to consider teaching as a career. Until next time, this is Felipe signing off in Dodge City for Cool Careers. Have a great day.